Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. Last week, I posted a video about games you can play straight from your mobile phones, because I know a lot of you guys love that. But today's video is for the people who prefer playing on their big screens and also hate downloading stuff to start playing. Here are 5 play to earn games you can play right now straight from your browser. The first game on our list is Mini Royale Nations. Mini Royale Nations is a PvP shooter game being built on Solana. Mini Royale Nations is a free-to-play, browser-based FPS and social strategy game. You can join or create a clan and battle for control for different nations with your clan mates and allies. You can also play solo or with friends in various PvP and PvE modes such as Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and Free For All. Mini Royale Nations is also a community-owned game that uses blockchain technology to create an open economy and a democratic governance system. This means that you can own, trade, and create skins for your heroes and weapons using the game's native token. You can also earn by playing the game, completing quests, and participating in clan wars. Clan wars are one of the core features of Mini Royale Nations. These are events where clans compete for territory and resources on a global map. Clan wars require coordination and cooperation among clan members as they have to complete missions, defend their bases, and attack their enemies. Clan wars also reward clans with battle pass points, orbs, and loot skins. Speaking of battle pass, this is a seasonal system that allows you to unlock new skins and other rewards by earning battle pass points. You can earn battle pass points by playing matches, completing quests, and winning clan wars. If you're feeling spicy, you can also get premium skins by fusing skins in the lab or by buying them from the marketplace. Mini Royale Nations is live right now, and you can play Play it by visiting their website. You can also follow them on social media for the latest updates and news. The next game on our list is Sunflower Land. Sunflower Land is a farming and mining simulation game being built on Polygon. Sunflower Land is a game where you can farm, trade, and craft NFTs in a vibrant and colorful world. In Sunflower Land, you can gather resources and craft rare in-game NFTs. These NFTs are not just cosmetic items, they have actual utility and value in the game. For example, you can craft tools, weapons, potions, clothing, furniture, and even buildings. You can trade these NFTs with other players or in various secondary markets. You can also use them to complete deliveries at Pumpkin Plaza, dig for treasure at the beach, mix potions in the woodland, and more. Sunflower Land is not just a static game, it is constantly evolving and introducing new features and mechanics. Each season brings new adventures and challenges for you to explore and enjoy. You can also collect rare resources and items that are only available each season. Since the rewards change with the seasons, you should plan accordingly if you want to get everything. The seasons are Witch's Eve, Dawnbreaker, and Solar Flare. Sunflower Land is a play-to-own game, which means that you own your assets and can earn rewards by playing the game. You can also participate in the governance of the game by voting on proposals and suggestions. Sunflower Land is also powered by Polygon, which means you don't have to worry about high gas fees or long waiting times when you play. If you're interested in playing Sunflower Land, you can visit their website and sign up for free. You can also follow their social media for the latest updates and news. Liking this list so far? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you're always updated with games that you love. And now let's get straight back to the list. The next game on our list is Splinterlands. Splinterlands is a collectible card PvP game being built on Hive. Splinterlands is a digital trading card game that combines the fun and strategy of collectible card games like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon with the power and security of blockchain technology. Every card in the game is owned by you as an NFT, which means you can collect, trade, sell, or rent them to other players on various online marketplaces. The game is easy to play but hard to master. You'll need to build a deck of cards from 7 different elements. Fire, Earth, Water, Life, Death, Dragon, and Neutral. Each element has its own strengths and weaknesses, and you need to choose wisely depending on the rules and mana cap of each battle. Each card has a unique set of stats and abilities that affect how it performs in combat. You can level up your cards by combining multiple copies of the same card, which increases their power and unlocks new abilities. There are over 500 cards to collect with 4 rarity types. Common, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. The best part is that you can earn real money by playing Splinterlands. The game has a play-to-win model, which means that every win rewards you with something valuable. You can earn SPS tokens, which is the in-game currency that you can use to buy more cards, packs, potions, or even convert to other cryptocurrencies. You can also get more prizes from tournaments, rank play, and quests. If you have too many cards than you can handle, you can always rent them out to other players so they can use it and split earnings with you. If you want to try out the game, you can visit their website. The next game on our list is Avagachi. Avagachi is a collectible DeFi game being built on Polygon. Avagachi is a game that combines DeFi and NFTs. You can collect, customize, and interact with digital ghosts that are also interest-generating NFTs. 
Each ghost is staked to the A tokens, which are tokens that represent your deposits in the Ave protocol. The more A tokens you stake, the higher the value of your ghost. But staking is not the only factor that affects the value of your ghost. Your ghost also has traits that affect its rarity and abilities. These traits include random traits, which are the six numerical values that are randomly assigned to each ghost when it is born. They have different rarity ratings and determine the base rarity score of your ghost. There's also kinship, which is a value that reflects how well you take care of your ghost. It increases or decreases depending on how often you interact with it. The higher the kinship score, the happier and more loyal your ghost will be. There's also experience, which is a value that reflects how much your ghost has learned and grown through its adventures. You can earn experience points by voting or playing minigames with your ghost. You can also use spirit points to change any of the random traits of your ghost. And finally, there are wearables. These are in-game assets that can be worn by your ghost to change its appearance and boost its traits. They are also NFTs that can be bought, sold, or traded on the marketplace. You can explore the Gachiverse, an open-ended virtual world where you can do various activities with your ghost and other players. You can craft, farm, fight, trade, and more in the Gachiverse. You can also own land parcels that can host different types of content or experiences. If you want to learn more about Avigachi or hop in the game yourself, you can visit their website. And the last game on our list is Tank Warzone. Tank Warzone is an action casual shooter game being built on Phantom. Tank Warzone is a game where you can collect, customize, and battle with tanks in various modes. You can play solo or with your friends and earn money by playing or staking your NFTs. The game has different gameplay modes for different tastes and preferences. You can fight against the game AI in casual turn-based mode or challenge real players in a 3v3 real-time mode. You can also join a battle royale mode where you have to eliminate your opponents until you're the last one standing. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can try the boss mode where you can fight against gigantic and powerful bosses and earn rare NFT rewards. But that's not at all. Tank Warzone also has a land system where you can purchase or acquire land plots in the game world. You can use your land to build your own base or rent it out to other players for passive income. You can also join guilds and participate in guild wars for more fun and rewards. And if you're feeling creative, you can design your own 3D tank model and sell it in the game marketplace. You can also offer repair services to tank owners or design your own items such as flags, skins, and more and sell them to other players. Tank Warzone is a game that combines strategy, action, and creativity in a blockchain environment. For more info on Tag Warzone, you can check their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you're looking for more player and games you can play straight from your browser, I hope this video helped. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.